Hello Aquarius. Welcome. Let's do a tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius. Partnership love tarot reading for January 1st through January 7th. May all your dreams and manifestations come true. Happy New Year, guys. Happiest of New Year's. All right, let's see what's going on this week. Who's coming in and what's going on for Aquarius? Four of Pentacles. Here you are showing up with the Page of Pentacles. Sometimes it's vice versa, but I'm going to read that as you. Oh, I pulled two cards. Okay. The Nine of Cups. With this little straggler over here. The King of Pentacles. Really? There's someone here that kind of wants more, is what I am seeing. There's like a fire sign energy trying to get away with something, guys. I don't feel like they do. Something comes crashing down also with a fire sign back there. Um, that looked kind of like very chaotic. So that's different. Let's see. Let's see about um, actually this eight of cups. So I feel like you are suddenly leaving something or you have suddenly left something at the start of January 1st. Here's the six of wands and the lovers. So you're happy that you're leaving something or that you're breaking up with someone. Here you are with the king of swords. This is bringing in actually victory for you. There's energy of victory or you're like you're proud of yourself here because you're making the decision to end something or just to leave a certain situation. Um, could have to do with the love situation, with the lover's Gemini energy, and it doesn't have to be. There was someone here saying like, I promise we could beat this. I promise um, there was some sort of promise made that will get things on track here. I don't know. Maybe that didn't work out that way. Okay, let's see about this page of pentacles for you, Aquarius. What are you looking at over here, January 1st through the 7th? So you're, you're deep in thought. I feel like there's something that has your attention here, the Seven of Cups. You might need more information. It looks like you are making a decision here. Wow. You could be looking forward to a home or a relationship here. It looks like you're planning your future, guys. You have certain plans about your future. Um, it feels like you're materializing them or you're wanting them to be all set out. There's someone here questioning you. They're kind of like, what are you doing? Why, why do you act like that? Why are you always busy? Or why, do you always, why are you always focused on certain things? And you're kind of like, you don't understand or you don't understand what I'm trying to do here. Someone doesn't understand you, all right? Let me see. Who is this with the Nine of Cups and the King of Pentacles coming in for Aquarius, January 1st through the 7th? The Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. This person is kind of worried. This person is worried that you're not doing something um, right. I don't know why. This could be someone who's questioning you. They feel like you're not making the right decisions for the future here. I also see that fire sign trying to come back in. Um, whoever that is. But this is someone that we're dealing with on your side who is trying to keep the household in order or like your relationship with them together or whatever this is here. They're still trying to tend to something that maybe feels like it's not enough or like they're doing it on their own here. So you're leaving something and now we're talking about a relationship or a household. Okay, how do you see this person on... 
Aquarius's side here. Who is this person? How do you see this person, Aquarius? King of Cups. So you see them with a double card? <laughs> you feel like this person's mad at you. You feel like they're not trying to end the situation. They don't want the situation to be over. They're trying to hold on to the situation. And they're upset that it's coming to a close. Or they're upset that you're trying to end something with them here. They don't feel... Okay. Are they moving? So they're hopeful that you guys are going to work things out. And I feel like you don't feel the same here. Like you could be looking for a new place to go, a new place to live, a new type of relationship. And this one wants things to stay the same. It's like you're trying to get some new energy in, maybe even in your household or your relationship with this person. Like you'd be trying to switch things up and they're saying, no, I want it to stay the way that they are. I want it to stay like this. And they're kind of defensive about it or mad about it. So now it's a question of like, is this really over? Is the situation ending type of thing? The five of pentacles. Hold on. How does this person see Aquarius? The Page of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower. They feel like you... Like you're okay with making a big change or a big shift to the home, to the household, to a foundation that was built between you and them. And they're not really understanding that. Okay, so I, I'm seeing the king and queen of cups. There's still mutual feelings involved here. At least that's what I see. What do you want with this person, Aquarius? What does Aquarius want with this person? The queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and the eight of cups. You're basically saying I could do this on my own or there's something I need to do on my own. And it has to do with you leaving here with the Eight of Cups. So you're trying to expand your horizons. There's something else that you're searching for that you're needing. It could involve you needing to leave for a while. Maybe it's temporary or this person doesn't want you to go. This person doesn't want you to leave. But you say that you have to. You're saying I have to. This is I have to do something for myself. This is good for me. Um... You could also be saying, like, I can't keep eating those foods or drinking those drinks here. It's affecting my body. So I have to leave or I have to quit or something like that. Yes, yeah, so you're telling this person that you need to do something on your own or you're going off alone here this week. Could be a trip. I don't know. Let me see. What does this person want with Aquarius? You're basically saying it's better that I do this by myself. Also, that you yourself is more predictable to yourself here, as opposed to like trying to make it work for everybody or something like this. Okay, what does this person want with Aquarius? The world card, the six of wands. The Four of Swords and the King of Wands. There's a lot of Leo energy here. This person is kind of staying where they are. They could be healing. Um, world card energy. There's an ending with you, the Star card. They feel like they know that things are over between you and them, but they're just still there. They're somehow still here. They could be waiting for some sort of return or they kind of feel like this will be picked up again. But in the meantime, they're kind of in their own energies as well. So they're resting. This is someone who could be trying to um, have some private time away from like the general public even. Um, they're trying to keep things a little bit private here. They want more action to be done. There's a whole bunch of Jupiter coming in. So this person's like, oh, Aquarius is going to be back. I know it. I know they're going to be back or something of that sort. Okay. Aquarius's next moves here. The Nine of Wands. The Ten of Wands. 
the Eight of Swords. I feel like this person is trying to get you to change your mind. You could be mad that you feel a certain way about somebody here. Like, you might even be irritated that you have feelings for somebody. Because you're trying to release yourself, but now you're feeling like, I don't know if I should, maybe I should just give this another shot or another chance here. Because here you are thinking about all the work you have to do or all the burdens that you're carrying and you're doing this on your own. So now you're, okay, hold on. Tell me more. I feel like someone wants you to like, yeah, there's, there's emotions here. Look at the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Cups. So you're feeling kind of like caught here between making a change and being in a relationship, a loving relationship here, because there's a loving relationship trying to come in. Or you're looking for it. There's someone trying to build with you guys. King and Queen of Cups, wow. Yeah, this person is trying to reconnect you guys. And it's almost like you remember how you feel about them or you're mad that you still love them or you have feelings for this person. This person's like trying to get you to remember things or you're just suddenly remembering things about your relationship with them. So there's some sort of pause coming in because of this. All right, let's see about this person. What are their next moves? I don't see you doing much. I just feel like you're kind of in your head now about this. About all the work or all the time that you put into things or you will have to put into things. This person's next moves here. The strength. Oh, this could be a Leo. Devil card. Uh, Capricorn energy. So, oh man, I do feel like they're trying to get you to stay or they're confused that you're leaving. See this? And now you're feeling like kind of confused here. They're not trying to let you go here. I feel like this is someone who might be trying to seduce you also to get you to stay or like um, exerting some sort of control or power over you in certain ways here. Okay, this person is really trying to get, yeah. They're like, no, you can't leave. I don't want you to leave. What are you talking about? Like, you don't know what you're talking about. There's something like this going on. You guys don't feel like the other person knows what they're talking about all the time or in this reading this week. <laughs> it's kind of like, this comes out of the blue, it feels like to this person. They're like, what do you mean? Okay, hold on. Oh no, they're not gonna let you, no, they're not letting you. They are definitely trying to exert control over this here. Yeah, they don't want you to, cause you have some sort of trip or like you're going somewhere here and I feel like they're not trying to let you leave. This is someone who's trying to stop you from going somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> You've got lovers. Oh my gosh, Aquarius. This is so frustrating. Okay, let's see. What is this situation like from a bird's eye view? Let's, let's talk about it. Tell us, universe, tell us about this. 
the world card. The Four of Wands, the Sun card, and the Knight of Pentacles. That'll be quiet. This is saying like there's a lot of happiness here in this relationship if people want to stay in it, or at least this Leo is happy, or this Virgo is happy here. Um, someone is happy to stay with you or stay in the house with you here. This is something about like just trying to make things work. Um, Any advice for Aquarius for this situation? I'll pull you a uh, oracle too. The magician, the king of pentacles, the four of cups. Hmm. Could be that you're just in between a decision right now or a path to decide what you're trying to do. Why is this here? So it looks like you're not seeing clearly exactly what you want right now, um, especially if it's somewhat of a stable situation versus something more lively or, um, yeah, it could be that your, your situation currently is a little bit kind of like it's dredging on or it's like the same old type. So something needs to be switched up. It does show me that there's going to be sadness and regrets if this situation comes to a close or if it ends here. Um, but this energy is going to need some sort of change because it could be, yeah, maybe you're bored or you want something else. like you're needing to decide what's more important right now for you let's see what's going on for Aquarius bottom of the deck peace we need some peace it says I am peace when my mind is clear the way is clear and your energy yeah see what I'm saying this is about finding your calling based off of like what you feel because it says white buffalo calf woman my heart is a compass the path of love is true abundance yep your heart is a compass this is about you figuring out what you want here something that is more peaceful for you or where you'll be happy because there's something that either needs to change where you are or it's pretty much going to fall apart basically and this could be what you're feeling or you might just need some excitement in your life or some new energies injected to a situation that is a little bit mundane right now. You're looking for some sort of change here, okay? Feel free to check your other placements, Aquarius, for more or different information. Your friends, your family members, neighbors, coworkers, peep and Tom, peep and Tom down the street, check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.